A bill that would allow developers to fill in some wetlands in Wisconsin goes to the Senate this week after passing the assembly last week. The bill sponsors say it will save developers time and money, but conservation groups are pushing back. It's become much uh, too problematic for both homeowners and developers to get through this process in any uh, reasonable amount of time. Assembly Majority Leader Jim Steinecke sponsored the wetlands bill. He says it would speed up processes for developers who want to fill in some isolated wetlands. So what this does is it just streamlines the process for filling small amounts of wetlands, uh, brings the cost down, and I think eventually will save the consumer and the homeowner uh, a lot of money in the long run. The Wisconsin Wetlands Association opposes the bill. The group says it would remove protections for tens of thousands of acres of wetlands around cities and villages. Our wetlands are some of the hardest working water resources we have on the land. Uh, everybody understands, most people understand that they're critically important for wildlife, particularly um, breeding and, and migrating waterfowl. Um, but they also provide storage for our floodwaters and our runoff, and they help improve water quality by, by capturing and filtering runoff um, for rain and snow melt. All wetlands are not created equal. O'Brien says mitigation, creating a new wetland elsewhere for the one lost, doesn't put quality wetlands where they're needed the most. That's why some hunting and fishing groups have joined conservation groups in trying to change the bill. It's a very unpopular piece of legislation and I think that policymakers are hearing from um, sportsmen and uh, cities and others around the state expressing their comfort and their displeasure so I guess time will tell but we're we're going to keep working till the very end. The state senate is expected to consider its wetlands bill on Tuesday. Representative Steinecke told me he's optimistic the bill will pass the senate too and that the governor will sign it into law. When we come back, the latest on an effort to save hundreds of jobs in Wisconsin.